Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we're playing Visteria once again because it had a new update. And from what I can tell right here is that it seems like most of this update isn't exactly what maybe everyone expected other than the pet system coming in. But I don't know. Personally, I like it. I like this update quite a bit. And I'll get to the reason why here in a second. But now let's cover that update. The update is the pet and lighting update. That's what they called it. Here's a screenshot of Rocky's what is Rocky is one of the developers of Visteria. This is his announcement that he, they posted on the Visteria Discord. As you can see, it's the pet and lighting update. They added pet eggs, which can be purchased with Ether or Ether, however you want to say it, and it comes in three tiers: common, great, and noble. They added 18 new pets, which can be obtained from the animal gotcha, and then they added the Zacha's amazing animal gotcha shop to Nilgarf. They remastered and refurbished the lighting and the sound ambience of every area in the game. And they fixed the immortality bug. If you guys don't know what the immortality bug is, it's the immortality bug for Shroompocalypse as an example. I'm not going to get into it, but basically there was a way to get invincibility in Shroompocalypse. But now let's go ahead and go ahead over to the new Zacha Gacha shop. I don't even know what it is it actually is named anymore. I already forgot. But another thing is I don't know why I keep finding myself up there. Every time I record a video. But it's right here in Nilgarf. Also, yeah, as you can already tell, the ambience the wind and stuff and the lighting is completely different if you want my honest opinion again wait till the end but here we have the pet shop here as we can see the prices are 250 650 and 1000 for the ether also we get you guys a screenshot of the rates per egg and uh, i'll be putting that on screen right now so with this uh you can see that the basic egg will get you i mean it's, it's basically just a gotcha pet system you buy an egg from this uh shop here I personally got myself this one, and it also tells you the rates here. I'm just going to highlight over them with my cursor. If you guys want a better chance of getting a legendary, you obviously want to go for the noble pet egg. However, don't think that getting the noble pet egg doesn't mean that you won't get a common, because you still have 5% chance at getting a common. Anyways, though, we can get a pet egg from the Zacha's Incredible Pet Emporium, and then we have the common pets. We have the Stingtail Ratty for Sick and Crab, Basalt Salt Sitnail. I personally have myself the Basalt Salt Sitnail, as you can see here, or Basalt. And then uh, we have the Corgi, we have the Darktail Rooster, King Crab, Chef Ratty, Moglito, Jericho Wheel, Okamore Turtle, Tundra Wolf, Cool Shroom, Slime Jr. We have Bellboy Monkey, Awkward Owl, Dapper Corgi, and Chaos Dragon. I don't know what all of them look like, but I can tell you right now that this is the uh, which this is the King Crab. This one's Moglito. Uh, this was the Tundra Wolf. This is the uh, Bellboy Monkey. We also have the Oakmore tur Turtle right here. We have the Clockwork uh, Owl over there. And as I said, this is my Basalt Snail. And uh, I think that person has a has a, one of those... I don't know exactly what it's called. Um, a Stingtail Pet. And then this one has the uh, Darktail Rooster. I can only show you guys so much. This person has the Chicken from the Alpha stuff. But yeah, basically that's all it is. If you guys want to know what a pet does in this game though... Is that whenever you get drops from an enemy, as an example, uh, maybe like you're fighting Spider Queen, and then after Spider Queen dies and all the loot shoots out of the Spider Queen, your pet will go out of its way to go and pick up all your drops for you. Now, I'm going to tell you guys my opinion on the whole pet stuff real fast, and then we're going to go straight into the lighting and ambience. I mean, as you can see right here, if uh, you want my honest opinion already, I, I think that the lighting is beautiful. I mean, look at this. It, it looks like an actual nighttime now. Uh, but more on that later. Anyways, for the pets, I will give my honest opinion, okay? For the pets, I loved this idea. I really do love this idea. It makes pets easier to get. If you have even, like, what is it? Like, five... I know, I know it's five dollars to get yourself maybe one pet or something like that. But you just gotta think of it this way. The only way to get a free-to-play pet is by getting one from Baby Yeti, farming enough gold to buy it from someone, and fishing at the Gorgog pond. Those are really cool things. That was the Baby Slime over there, by the way. They died at red. And, uh, it's... I love this update. Because, right now, if you're worried about pay to win, there's the pets are soul bound. And if you weren't worried about it and you wanted to be able to trade your pet, I'm sorry, they're soul bound. <laughs> That's, that's the best way for me to explain it to you. But my honest opinion on when it comes to the pets is I love the idea. 
I think it's a, a wonderful, makes pets easier to get for players who wanted the pet without having to grind for it, I guess. It would be the easiest way to explain it. But the only problem that I found and the only thing that I have an issue with is that it seems like some of the pets may have had a low effort in them. As an example, I had I saw someone have the cool uh, mushroom, and if we go over here, uh, I'm not sure if there was if there's any in here. Yeah, there's no cool mushrooms in there, but basically it's a baby mushroom wearing aviators, and when it walks around, the glasses like are connected to it like its body, but like it doesn't move with like the where the eyes are or something like that. So it's kind of it, it just it just feels low effort on some of the pets, not all of them, because like by all means the snail pet that I got. I feel like it's pretty high quality if you ask me like they did a good job on it but there's just cer certain pets that i you know disagree or i don't like i'll be honest but th that that's just my opinion now we're going to go into the uh, lighting and the ambience update i really enjoy the update as well i the my only problem with the light and ambience update is that some places have terrible lighting as an example spider queen looks terrible now in my opinion, I think Spider Queen looks so bad now because of this lighting update. Anyways, we're going to go visit some areas and we're going to go and get you guys that new lighting and ambience update uh, by just looking around stuff. By the way, yes, things have gotten darker, but it makes things actually feel like, like they should look that way. Welcome to the Great Crossroads. And as I again, like I said earlier, it's it's darker. It looks beautiful now. It, I don't know. It, it makes the feel like it's night it actually feels like it's night now it's darker now and i think that was needed because now things that light up actually stand out and it feels like we need those lights i mean as an example the chest lights up that entire area maybe the fireflies are a bit too bright i mean <laughs> that is pretty bright but other than the fireflies i think that's okay i mean look at this the the campfire actually feels like a campfire you know what i mean it's just and and the lamps are just posted around or torches whatever you want to call them it just feels like they were much needed i'll probably be visiting the main faction areas but i but more than likely i won't be visiting uh like all the most popular areas so probably just tree of life warrior stronghold and port fidelio and then after that i'm gonna give my opinion and then do my outro but here's the warrior stronghold and as you can see it looks freaking amazing i mean the lighting and the ambience it sounds it, it just sounds and looks beautiful. Torches feel like they actually mean things now and do things. I actually ran into that mage over there. Okay. Oh, for a second, that lighting took a little bit to load in, but that's crazy how good this looks, in my opinion. This lighting is amazing. You could take so many cinematic screenshots that's that I, I, I i'm out of words i'm at a loss for words i mean imagine being going back to like your first character slot and walking down this bridge at nighttime for, for the first time you know what i mean that would be that'd be crazy it's just it's just basically like a different game in a in a way okay and we're now in port fidelio and i really like the ambience that they added to this one actually I don't know if something weird is going on though because I keep hearing like this it's either like a wave sound or it's like a snow sound and I can't really tell if I necessarily like that sound in every place I go to but I do like the birds chirping that's that's a really nice addition I love this already I kind of wish I got to Port Fidelio at night though because I mean imagine what this place would have looked like at night I, I got into a place of like higher ground and if you ask me I really love this new lighting and ambience update so far it's it's really good looking and now we're at the tree of life and i really really love this place this is the first place i saw after the update happened last night and it, it was amazing i i don't know how to explain it guys i just i love this new lighting update it's just so pretty it's beautiful and the ambience that they added to the tree of life is beautiful as well it has that little twinkling sound like it's you're, it's, you're in a magical place and that's what i that's what we're in i love that it's amazing but again the only thing I dislike is the Spider Queen event so far because, I mean, that that place looks freaking terrible with its new lighting. Oh my lord, it looks like, it, it looks like that you're not in the cave anymore, kinda. Wait, this is new. Hold on. They added like a little, uh, wall area right here with a clock on it? What? That's, that is new. I didn't even realize that they added new little places to the map, though. That's kinda crazy.
I mean, if that isn't new, then I'm kind of I'm kind of stupid a little bit, I guess. But like, <laughs> I, it, it seems really new to me. But I'm not really a mage though, so I'm not, I don't know for sure. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna be ending the video here. If you want my final opinion and my final verdict on this update, in all honesty, I like it. I can't see a reason to dislike it right now. But I do want to hear your guys' opinions on this update in the comments below. That would help me understand the community's point of view as well from it. Because I know that it's very controversial at the moment. And that's why I want you guys to leave your opinions in the comments. The reason why I like it is because pets are easier to get. Even though that maybe pets shouldn't be easy to get. I don't know your guys' point of view on it. But yeah, for me personally, the lighting and ambience update. Amazing, beautiful, love that. The only thing I don't like is the Spider Queen lighting. That, that place looks terrible now. Absolutely garbage. <laughs> I don't know what happened to the Spider Queen, but it doesn't look good anymore. And then when it comes to the pets, I feel like some of them are low quality or they weren't worked on as hard. I'm not a game dev, so I'm just kind of being harsh and I know that. But I don't know. There's just something to do with animations or the model or something's going wrong there or whatever it might be. Just some of them feel low quality. But still, I love the idea of the pet system. I, lo I love the idea of the pet gotcha. I, I just love it in general. And again, I would give this update like an 8 out of 10. I know, that's a, I know that's a pretty high rating for something that didn't give us a ton. But it feels a little bit different of a game. It feels a little different as a game as a whole. So I like it a lot. I give it, a, I give it two thumbs up. I just wish that there were those issues that I brought up were fixed. And I hope that they get fixed soon. Anyways, though, guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye-bye!